Hey everybody, it's Marcos, and today's video is going to be a contouring video uh, slash highlighting. I'm just kind of going to go on the basics on how to contour or where I highlight or where I contour. Either or it works. Well, have you noticed anything? Half of my face is very flat, one colored, doesn't have any shadows, it doesn't have any shape, it's just a flatted one colored face. This uh, other side, you can see it's contoured, it has highlight, it has like a glow to it, it's very radiant. Um, I can see a lot of dimension into my face uh, structure on this side. Uh, nothing compared to this side. This one looks tired, this one looks very awake. Basically, when you contour and highlight, you're just adding shadows to add dimension to all your face. Uh, touch your face, feel the planes of the face, Feel where the highest planes, where are the lowest planes, uh, what uh, sinks in, what pops out. Touch your eyebrows, touch the bone structure in there. You really want to have a nice platform uh, map on your face of how and where your bones sit in your face, if that makes any sense. If you take a very good look on this side, this side has a very much, you can see a bone structure, you could see a shape, you can see dimension, you can see more than one color on this face. It doesn't look like it's just a flat face. If you take a look at this side of the face that's just foundation, you can almost see a highlight and a contour as I move my face. Hmm? Can you see a little more? Can you see what I'm talking about? You're just reenacting a shadow that the sun is hitting you. If the sun is hitting you from upwards, it's going to shine right on your nose, on the highest cheekbones here, on the middle of your forehead, maybe your chin. Those are very high planes on your face that when the sun hits and reflects, that's where it's usually shiny. So basically what you're imitating onto your face when you highlight and contour is when you walk into a room that doesn't have the very nice lighting that you need uh, you already have this brilliant highlight and you have a nice contour to shape your face. A quick tip I'm gonna tell you wherever you don't contour you're gonna highlight. Easy as that. A very dark bronzer that I have it's a little bit of a matte finish. Uh, this one's uh, the bronze booster by a physician's formula. I used to have a sun in here, uh, but I've been using this quite a lot. So, so just a quick one here. Uh, I'm gonna show you the brush that I use to contour or use bronzer. Uh, basically, it's this Eco Tools uh, Kabuki. So I guess one, this keeps your hairs in there uh, much cleaner. But second of all, you can actually manage how fat or how tense you want your uh, hairs to be in there. About halfway and I'm gonna grab that bronzer tap 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 and basically right where the hollows the lowest if you touch your face the lowest that's where your contour is gonna be and then it goes bronzer blush highlight easy as pie this can help you I can just actually see where my uh hollow of my cheekbone is, so I'm just gonna straight up do it because I feel like I've done this several times for me to know already where my hollow of my cheekbone is and where I usually contour. Okay, do you see how much difference that has added to my whole face? I'm gonna go ahead and do my temples here. And I'm gonna bring it down to kind of meet this contour here. But I'm gonna focus on these two areas, not so much in between. Get it close to the hairline. Weird faces. Anyways, um, I was talking about this area right here. And I'm doing this right on my jawline, right here. I'm just bringing it from the back of my ear to my chin. It's on the jawline. I made sure I blended down my neck 
and I'll bring it down here to my chin underneath just like that basically it has kind of pointed rounded down my face on here it's not so squared out is my face looking any different can you see more dimension onto this side now than this one what's missing do you see anything missing does anything stand out to you I want to point out one thing if you if I don't move as much and you look at my eyes do you see this one it's highlighted and contoured okay this one you can almost see what I'm about to do do you see already like a like a lighter over here, lighter here, and can you see like a brown here almost? But look, I guarantee you there's nothing on there. Like it's just foundation. It's just the natural lighting. That's what it tends to do. You're just replicating it and doing it with uh, powders and shadows and stuff. So watch, watch this magic. Just by adding color right there. My eye is completely awake and do you see how that popped out even more like instantly? I'm not cutting the video so you could see what this highlight does to my eye. The brow bone here is going to pop out like no other. Do you see how it already was popping out so much? There, look at that. Do you see the difference between my eyes? They are awake now. Earlier this one just looked flatted. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cut. I'm just gonna keep on doing it so you see the difference right between your eyes. Do you see how much more awake my eyes are starting to look? I don't look so sleepy or flat or one color. Do you can really spot on my face, or at least I can, is my nose. If you look at it this side, and you look at it this angle, it looks very slim down, very pointed. If you look at it this side, my nose just kind of looks like it's this huge, basically. But this side, it looks smaller, it looks teeny tiny. Pretty much that is all I contour. I'm gonna show you a quick highlighting, just quick, quick, quick. Highlight right here, do you see? I'm doing this very dramatically, it's just so you can really see the areas that you're supposed to do. Uh, I optionally bring it down low. I feel like it just wakes up your face much better when you bring it low like that. It just gives more dimension to your face, or well, at least I think it does. Uh, right on my forehead right here. Blend that out. Do you see how much like, <laughs> did you like my look? It was awesome. And one more place I highlight is right here. And I'm going to gently bring some white shadow. And if you're wondering what I'm doing this, I wouldn't recommend you uh, highlighting with a shadow. But this one's on the L'Oreal 803 seashell color. So I grabbed some on my finger. And I'm going to bring it just gently down the bridge of my nose to thin that out. Okay, I'm very, I'm very scary looking right now. I'm very highly uh, contoured and highlighted. Um, but you get to see at least some of the tips and tricks. Uh, oh, I was talking about this. Do you see if I put some highlight right here? It's going to make my contour pop out better. Yeah? Alright, well I hope you found this video informational and helpful. Um, I really try to do things that I believe people are going to benefit from them. Uh, I try to speak with m much detail as I can or as I remember as I do the video. Um, 
Thanks for watching and thank you so much for subscribing and watching the videos in general. Um, I have fun making them so that's the most important part. Hugs and kisses. Love you.